Hello, and welcome back to the mini-sode of the Book Marketing Tips and Author Success Podcast. And today, Amy and I are talking about um, pre-order book pricing, because we see this a lot where authors do a, want to do a special pre-order price, but they don't necessarily do anything with it. So for example, You put your book up for pre-order and let's say it's $2 off or it's a dollar off or something like that. You, uh, according to Amazon's terms of service, which I want to add as a caveat, changes a lot. You have to keep that pre-order pricing for a month. I think it's a full 30 days after the book launches. So I love doing special discounted pricing, discounted at launch, et cetera. Um, to really encourage people to order lots and lots of copies of your book during pre-order. But you also want to make sure that you're using that effectively because discounting, a lot of times I see authors discounting a book, whether it's in pre-order or outside of pre-order, and they don't really do anything with it. So maybe they send an email out to their newsletter list and it kind of dies, you know, the idea kind of dies there. When you're doing a discounted ebook, when you're doing a discounted uh, pre-order ebook pricing, you really want to maximize your, you know, set, you know, set yourself up to do um, ebook, you know, ebook promos with, um, you know, Kindle Nation Daily or, you know, um, sign up for potentially for a BookBub deal or something like that. But with the proper promotion, a pre-order discount can really push more sales. And, you know, the goal is always for an author to hit the bestseller list. And, and a lot of times we see authors that say, I want to sell a whole bunch of copies during pre-order. Great. I love that goal. But also make sure that your pricing sort of aligns with that. So, you know, you might have, you might, you might not aspire to being on a bestseller list. I know very few authors that, <laughs> that don't aspire to be on a bestseller <laughs> list. But I think the idea really is, is that you know, be smart about your pricing and then be smart about the strategies that, that, you know, encompass that strike, that, that pricing. So be smart about the things that you're doing to push this book with the special pre-order pricing. I mean, Amy, would you, we see this a lot. What's your take on this? Yeah. I love this idea because we've done an episode on how critical your first 30 days on Amazon is. If you guys haven't heard that, definitely go and find that because this ties into that a lot, how it really is a, it's a commitment. You know, if you're going to do something to really drive your book on Amazon and really start triggering that algorithm and essentially making Amazon happy. So they give your book more attention, (laughs) doing a strong pre-order and the first 30 days that your book is on Amazon, having a lot of activity, click throughs, purchases, things like that is, is key. And definitely having a special price for the pre-order and the launch of your book can really play into that. And, you know, as Penny said, $2 off, a dollar off, it really doesn't have to be an insane discount where you're then like, well, wait, but then I'm making no money. (laughs) Right. Um, But it goes beyond the money. Okay. So you have to think beyond the money. You have to think about getting those extra sales, helping it boost your sales rank, things like that, kind of your long-term goals for your book. But it also, I love any excuse to give you more content and give you more reason to shout it from the rooftops on social and on your website and in your newsletter and things like that in ways that really are legitimate versus just always talking about your book because you wrote a book. Um, It's kind of like those memes, like, how do you know if somebody does CrossFit? Oh, they'll tell you. How do you know if somebody has a Peloton? Oh, don't worry. They'll tell you. So how do you know when somebody (laughs) wrote a book? They'll tell you. But... So it's always key to find a reason to talk about your book and having a special price is a really good reason to remind people that you have a book out. Like that's legitimate. You're saving them money. They have a special discount. So those kind of opportunities, I'm really a huge fan of because we get a lot of people asking questions about, I don't know what to post on social. I don't know what to say in my newsletter, you know, in a discount promo really, especially for a limited time is really something to brag about. So So have that planned out if you're able to do it. But, you know, as we talked about, you really do, like Penny said, you have to have a plan to support it. Otherwise, again, those few sales that you do get, you are just losing money on. (laughs) Yeah, no, that's absolutely true. And the other thing that I think um, that is important just to 
to, to stay here just in closing is that, you know, Amazon doesn't, um, if you discount your book or if you, if you launch your book at a particular price, um, a lot of times authors think that Amazon automatically boosts books, books that are on sale or that are discounted and they don't really have to do anything else. I know that sounds crazy, but I've actually talked to some authors who say, well, doesn't Amazon just automatically know that my book's on sale and they push it out? Amazon doesn't care. I mean, I know it sounds really bad. Amazon doesn't really, like, if, even if you have, I mean, you know, if you have your book, if, if your book is priced free, and I'm not suggesting that you do a free book during a pre-order at all, but if your book is priced for free, you will show up on the free eBooks um, on the Amazon, you know, the Amazon bestseller list, which go millions of books deep, but Amazon won't do anything to promote your discounted book. You have to do it yourself. And it is really, as Amy said, you need something to talk about. It's some, that's something great to talk about. And it's really fun to do it at launch because then you can get, you know, push all of these book sales first 30 days on Amazon, super important, get those pre-order sales going and, uh, you know, launch the book strongly and then change the price after that. Pricing is a great book marketing strategy. And um, a lot of times we see authors who overprice their um, eBooks, sadly, and that's not a good way to build, that's not a good way to build readership. So thank you so much for tuning in. This is Penny Sansbury and Amy Cornell. We appreciate your feedback. We love reviews wherever you listen to podcasts. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.